Hey, my name is Sadie Durant, and welcome to My Opinion That You Didn't Ask For. Today, I will be talking about the Bhopal disaster. I originally found out about the Bhopal disaster through my engineering design and problem solving class because, you know, engineering. And basically what happened was in Bhopal, India in 1984, a Union Carbide Corporation plant leaked this nasty chemical that I can't pronounce into the environment. As a result, over 15,000 locals had died and almost 500,000 were injured. 45 tons of this chemical is leaked. 45 tons. This chemical is extremely deadly. For pregnant women, it causes miscarriages. For literally anybody in the universe, it can cause blindness, suffocation, and a lot of digestive issues. Which means, for the villagers, they're kind of out of luck because... They're surrounded. It went into the water. It went into the soil. It went into the air. And it's not like they could see it. It just has this distinct smell. And they were just surrounded by it. So there was no way out for them. So almost everybody within a few miles of the plant had died. Well, if you're like me, you're thinking, well, why? What happened? Like, what causes this chemical? I mean, why did they have this chemical in the first place? Well, I can only answer a few of your questions. In an investigation that the Indian government tried to keep private, the United States had to come in and say, you need to release these records for them to even release these records. Anyways, in this investigation, they found out that this whole thing was sabotaged. They think an employee that was working at the time purposely sabotaged this company to leak this gas. And they don't know who or why or what. All they know is someone put a water hose into the tank that has this deadly gas in it and turned on the water, which caused it to combust and make a chemical reaction that blew off the valve. And all the safety measures were too weak to handle it. And it just went everywhere. And then here's where my opinion comes in. Today, it's still not over. Today, for these people in Bhopal, India, they are still being affected by this one disaster that happened over 30 years ago. Their water and their soil are still contaminated. The only thing that they've been able to control is the amount that's going into the air around them. People are still rallying about their justice because they don't have any. The Indian government is still not doing anything. I mean, they try to clean it up, yeah, but they have never went back to fully do their job. And I guess, like, you know, it's all the way across the world. I shouldn't really be worried about it. Well, I am, because turns out this company was an American-owned company. So why aren't we taking responsibility for this? Why aren't we learning this in school? The only reason I learned about it was because my teacher told me to do a research project about an engineering disaster. And this isn't even an engineer's fault. It's a, it's, ah! So what I want everyone to take from this is that there are things happening around the world that we just have no clue about. And just to keep an open mind and open ear for these kinds of things. And also, here are my resources so you know I'm not lying.